When it comes to inspecting rooms and locations, the ability to accomplish tasks in a faster manner can be a big boost for any company. Fresh off a second straight win at the ISSA Innovation Awards, Clean Intelligence Software offers a way to cut down on wasted time. Clean Intelligence's latest award winning creation, Mobile Surveys, makes it easy to get things done in a short period of time. Anyone can scan a QR code with their mobile device, then use that survey to submit requests to the building service contractor or facility manager. The process is quick, so the janitorial staff can respond to the request immediately. These rapid responses allow management to not only keep their clients happy, but it also increases the productivity of each employee. In turn, the increased productivity of each employee makes for a better, more efficient organization by allowing them to accomplish important tasks while out in the field. Scott Peterson of World Cleaning Services Company agrees. He said, It's been very helpful to be able to rely on Clean Intelligence mobile app while going to a building, as opposed to having to communicate through email. It's also much easier to attach pictures while doing an inspection or work order. Kickstart your push for increased productivity by taking advantage of mobile surveys by Clean Intelligent. Contact us at 801-404-5038 or visit us at www.cleanintelligent.com for more information on how you can increase productivity and cut down on wasted time. Welcome to Try Podcast, episode 350. It's Monday, April 14th, and Dick Olick asks, is your business a commodity? Over the past several weeks, Dick has talked about what value you bring, why should someone buy from you, but did you know there's one word that can turn your company from a valuable partner to a commodity? Let's listen. If you have uh, watched me uh, on these podcasts or if you've been reading my blog uh, that I put out each week or if you have been ever attended any of my sessions, read my books, uh, listened to my DVDs, watched my DVDs, you know that I'm very passionate about the fact that we in this business are not in the bidding business. We are in the proposal business. You ever heard me say that? You don't give bids. You provide proposals. And some of you still want to keep giving bids, and that's fine, yeah, you know, as long as you want to be in the commodity business. And I, I was really pleased the other day that I received a uh, kind of a testimonial to, the, to it, and I just wanted to read it to you so that you knew it wasn't me saying it again. But uh, this came from Michael Frenda, who is with Thunderbird Maintenance Corporation, Bohemia, New York. He said, Dick Olick's great book, Selling Contract Cleaning Services 101, contains some wise advice. We should get away from the phrase bid and use proposal instead. I know it sounds like only a word. Big deal. Why should it matter? It's really all about mindset. And in business, and specifically in selling, our mindset or psychology has much to do with our confidence level and how much our prospects and how our prospects view us. When we present a proposal instead of submitting a bid, we are carrying ourselves in a much more professional manner, and we come across that way to the prospect or client. We are worth more when we are of this professional mindset and, of course, act accordingly. Bidding talks of, or rather screams of, commodity. It says essentially we're no different than any competitors. We don't bring any unique value to the table, Mr. or Mrs. Prospect. We therefore give you permission to make your decision based on the lowest price. And he, but Michael goes on to say, I don't think we want to position ourselves this way, in my humble opinion, anyway. Well, Michael, uh, I don't consider that a humble opinion. I appreciate what you said about it, and I concur with you, obviously, very much. Appreciate the kind words on the book, but I was really wanting to get across the point that uh, someone else is looking at this and saying, you know, we've put ourselves just in the commodity business. And I hear it every day. And I, I guess one of the things that even though I'm well past the Social Security retirement age, one of the reasons I just keep going and going is that I want people to understand, and if I can just get some people to understand, we are in the business of providing proposals. 
And if we're going to say, when you go out for bid, or can I bid this the next time, or let me give you a bid, all we're saying is we've got a commodity. And I bet you I can bid lower than the next guy. And I hear contractors, this is an interesting thing, I hear contractors every day complain about these online auctions that are held, you know, where you start at a price and it just, you know, they got 30 minutes to bid and whoever ends up at the end of the 30 minutes with the lowest price gets the job. That's commodity buying. And that's what we say to our prospects and our customers when they say, can I give you a bid? So let me again ask you, Think of terms of, think in terms in your organization of offering proposals to your customers and to your prospects. And don't bid the work. Thanks for watching us today. Thank you for listening to this Tri Podcast. As a regular listener, I'm sure you're going to want to check out Richard's Writings, a blog from Dick Ollick that, like these Tri Podcasts, offer concise, useful information to improve your business right now. Find him at www.consultancyquitting.com. We'll both be glad you did.